Hello! I was having a look at AliExpress, searching for pop stations, as you do, and do you know what happened? Of course you do, you've seen the title of the video. It said in my recommended items thing, mystery boxes. Mystery boxes from AliExpress. Can you believe it? Well, yeah, it's not really something that's difficult to believe, is it? So basically the idea is you just send a small amount of money to the manufacturer and they send you some tat. And that, my friends, is as simple as that. That was weirdly rhyming. Anyway, let's continue. Ah, uh, yeah. So there were loads of them, like absolutely loads. So I just picked one that was sort of cheap, one that was mid-range, and one that was more expensive. I went kind of, you know, under a fiver, and then about a tenner, and then about 15 quid. I mean, we'll, we'll come on to it. We'll have a look with the details as we go along. So they offered five pieces of information which uh, may or may not be true. Let's have a look at them. Point number one. The item will be much more expensive than the money you paid. That is not always true. Number two. All items are brand new and popular. Well, they're certainly brand new, but you haven't said who they're popular with. I imagine they're popular with wholesalers and factories that want to get rid of them. Three. Do not accept bad reviews. I mean, that's good advice for life, probably, but I think it means tough. If you don't like what you've got, don't leave us a bad review. Four, do not accept disputes. Again, tough. <laughs> you've sent us your money for a mystery thing, you will have the mystery thing. Tough, tough, tough. And five, if the you received item damaged, we can resend you a new one. That's good. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't be very good if it's like, oh, it's a mystery box. Yeah, but it's damaged. Well, that was the mystery. That would be rubbish. Anyway, let us begin with the cheapest of them all. This was £3.99 all inclusive. All these prices include postage. Uh, this was described as... <clears throat> Most popular lucky mystery box, 100% surprise, high quality gift, Venom one piece random figure, item product, blind box gift 2022. It was quite a long title. So this one actually had like pictures illustrating what you might get, which was basically a load of Transformers and anime statues and some Venom and Deadpool stuff. So I was expecting an anime statue, frankly, but probably a very small low quality one. Uh, also they had this astonishing Photoshop, which just needs to be seen. I'm convinced. Uh, so yeah, what did I get for my £3.99? I got this. <laughs> Here he is. Look, he's all rubber and not at all furry like he is in the video game, for this is a video game character. In fact, the description on the bag was correct. Uh, Poppy Playtime Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy. He's huggy and he's wuggy, and he's absolutely horrifying. Yep. Yeah. If you haven't guessed, it's one of those horror games that sort of plays on sort of children's toys and children's entertainment tropes, you know. I think the idea is you... I think it's one of those episodic games, but only episode one is out at the moment, if I recall. Should have looked that up, never mind. Um, yeah, you go into, like, an abandoned toy factory or something, and Huggy Wuggy is like a giant plush figure, but it's alive and it comes after you. Um, the face is spot on. I mean, it really does look like that in the game, but it's got this sort of Gumby look, this one, whereas in the game it's a big furry thing, and it certainly does not have massive suction cups for hands and feet. That wouldn't help it get anywhere, would it? It'd be stuck all the time. Are they good suction cups? The trick is, do they stick together well? Oh yeah, oh good god, yeah. Oh, they're very good suction cups. Well, there we are. You could, if you have particularly shiny seedings, you could stick him to that and then wonder why he's got a key ring dangling. Why would you want a key ring this big with suction cups on? I have no understanding of this whatsoever. But there we are. For my four pounds, I got a big rubber huggy wuggy suction cup key ring. Right. Do you want to know how much it would have cost if I'd just bought it directly from somebody on AliExpress? £2.59. It cost me £1.40 more to not know what I was buying. And that, my friends, is what we call bad huggy-wuggy value. Love you. Right. Item number two was actually, wait for it, three items! So they didn't have any pictures um, illustrating anything here other than like boxes with question marks on, but the description was, <clears throat> well, in fact it was the title of the item was, most popular lucky mystery box 100% winning smartwatch random item blind box electronics products Christmas gift waiting for you. Marvellous. So they're implying this time uh, smartwatch and electronics. And I, I wouldn't say it contains a smartwatch, but it does contain a watch. So three items came, 
as uh, descriptive. Three pieces, absolutely true. So one of them was this exciting watch, which currently claims it's exactly half past 11, probably because I haven't actually set the time on it yet, which is done via the one button. So there's gonna be a lot of tapping and holding down and that kind of thing. You know how these things work. But yeah, just put it on your wrist, I suppose, and uh, do up the horrifying rubber strap thing. Wait for it. Yep. Click. There we are. Now you can't see what the time is till you go like that. Or we'll hit the button thing. And then it's weirdly vertical. But I mean, it works. I mean, it's fine. How much was this whole box of three items? We'll get on to that at the end. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's all right. It's probably going to last a fair bit because it's quite a solid bit of rubber and it goes all the way around the outside rather than so you can actually, you know, pop the watch out if you should want, which is good because it means there's no sort of weak point where it connects to the plastic or something. But yeah, it's all right. I mean, let's watch for the kids if the kids want a weird watch for some reason. If they do, ask them why. Uh, next, less good, Bluetooth headset. Yay! just what nobody needs these days because we've all got wireless headphones that do the job and do the job better frankly so I did actually test this briefly um, I mean I held it to my ear but you can also use this loop to stick it around and put it right in your lug and then you've got this poking out of your ear feels slightly cheap plasticky button on there yeah it's exactly as you would expect micro USB charge blah 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 and it works. I mean, it connects to the phone. Um, the quality was not good. Um, I, it was a sort of low quality listening, but you could hear what the other person was saying, but they couldn't hear what I was saying too well. The microphone was not amazing in it. Frankly, whichever headphones you've got are probably going to do a better job and be in each ear. Th these things, there's a reason these are in the mystery boxes, aren't there? They are pretty much deprecated now. Away you go. My favourite thing, though, is the instructions. The instructions are actually for knockoff AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> Which best look, best just put totally wrong instructions in. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, fortunately, they weren't exactly hard to uh, set up or work out, but ah, oh, tremendous. Here we are. You can go down there. Oh, actually, you can go and live there. I feel bad for not putting Huggy Wuggy at the back. Hang on. There we are. Now perhaps he won't come and eat me in my sleep. And finally, the third item was predictably USB flash bag. Blah, blah, blah. A USB, a USD flash drive. Yes, no, USB flash drive from Siamir. This is one of those very standard sort of metal ones they do where uh, if you pay a bit extra for these from AliExpress, they'll actually custom engrave them for you. But uh, this one just says, Siamir, see that oh, we probably can't see that. There we have to see that now. Siamir C3 4 gigabyte. So, uh, the good news is this is actually a usable USB drive, not one of those weird knockoff ones where it says it's got 4 gigabyte on it, but actually only has 128 megabytes and has been formatted weird to give you a false bloody idea of how much it'll, the capacity is, and then you put large files on it and it corrupts and the world ends. No, no, none of that. Works fine. Yeah, four gigabyte, I put large files and it took large files off, absolutely fine. The bad news though, and the reason it's in this I imagine is, it is USB 2. Uh, that's pretty slow by today's standards. And it's also about half the speed you'd actually want from a standard USB 2. I got 12 and a half megabytes per second writing data onto it. So it's not the speediest blighter, but it was solid. I mean, it capped out 12 and a half and it's, you know, didn't deviate from that. So it's it's a decent enough quality thing. It's just very slow by today's standards. But um, depending on what you want, if you just want to store a couple of files or you just need to move a few small files around, that will probably do the job. So the question is, how much were these three amazing items? Actually, yeah, you're confusing now. Go away, Huggy Wuggy. Um, £10.11 for all three. £10.11. How much would they have cost if I had bought them all separately? £6.89. So they were £3.82 more to buy them in bulk altogether. And not know what I was getting. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> you can't argue with that. You can argue with that, and I'm going to argue with that. Disappointing. Massively overcharged. Ugh. The mystery all along was how much we were going to get ripped off. But I think deep down we all knew that. Uh, right, let's get on to the final one. And this is the biggie. This was, well, I'll tell you up front, actually. This was £16.17. Yep. By the time it was sent, it was slightly over £15, we let it off. And it is, wait for it, Starry Sky Night Light. Light up your space. 
Yes. Uh, with these weird effects from one of these things that sort of spews out light and has got a bit of laser stuff in it as well. I've reviewed something like this years ago, like a sort of disco projector thing that um, sort of did laser shapes on the ceiling while playing music. And this is not entirely dissimilar. This was described as 2022 Christmas gift, winning high quality surprise gift, most popular lucky mystery boxes, blind box digital product toy. And they weren't wrong. They also weren't right because I can't understand them. Uh, so yeah, you can put your USB stick into it. Mmm, if only I had one of those somewhere. Plays music. Looks like that, except it doesn't. Mine came a different colour. It's got a remote with all the buttons on. You've got night light, festival, home party, game room, and disco light. All right then, do you want to see what it looks like? I hope so, because I'm about to show you. Plop, there we are. And here's the remote with every button in the universe. So yeah, it's got built-in speakers. There's your revolvey bits, just throwing your lights everywhere. It's got a little laser emitter on it as well. Uh, you've got the brightness control on it. Well, you can obviously also do that through this. You've got basic player controls. Again, you can do through that. Physical on-off switch, which is nice. Awful old mini USB. Thankfully, they did give you a cable and obviously USB slot. So, well, what is it like? Well, as a speaker, um, you obviously have to plug your MP3 files into here. It worked perfectly. Didn't get that loud. It was about the maximum of it is about half the volume of the old disco one I reviewed many, many years ago. However, it's still sort of loud enough. Um, unless you wanted something really loud, probably it'll fill a room. It'll fill a room, not not going to make your ears bleed, but it'll do the job. Now, what does it look like on? Well, I quickly converted the bedroom into the disco bedroom and it looked like this. So I had that on the um, microphone setting, which is supposed to be in time with the music, which kind of is. And then obviously I changed it to some of the more passive ones as it was going along. But yeah, it's very good, actually. It's far brighter than anything like that I've seen before. Um, I kind of like it, to be honest. And I think for what it does for £16.17, it's pretty impressive, really. It's quite a nice bit of kit. Um, plays your music, does cool stuff on the ceiling. Not entirely sure I would have bought it if I'd known what I was getting, but hey, that's the whole point of a mystery box. And here's the big thing. How much would this have cost to have bought outright? £18.32. We actually saved £2.15! It's a miracle of whatever time of the year it is. Sort of post-Easter. It's a post-Easter miracle. There we are. So I felt I got kind of lucky with the last one there, not so lucky with the first two mystery boxes. I think the moral of this story is don't buy mystery boxes off AliExpress because obviously you don't know what you're getting and you're going to end up paying more money for tap, frankly. Subscribe for more.